flesh. Okay, she always hurt me. I know. Calm she don't down, like calm me. Down. I think I guess it's fine. No, okay. doctor. Okay, all right, just take her away. Take her away. <laughs> This is the first time someone's actually wanted to do this here. I'm Dr. Tony. Nice to meet you, Miss James Smith. Hmm. Using humor to hide behind those eyes. Beautiful eyes. This though. is a visitor's pass. Thank you. It's okay. We'll get someone to grab your bags for you. Um, that's okay. That's actually some very expensive styling tools. I'll take it. It's all right. I'll take it. Thank you. To hunt successfully, you must know the nature of what you are hunting. Shall we? Otherwise, the hunter becomes the hunted. This, this is not the ending I'd envisioned. I don't think it'll cure them, but at the very least, it might make them feel better. Doctor, have we met before? Sorry? Sorry, I mean, you look so familiar. I feel like we've met before. Perhaps I treated you once, and you're trying to suppress the memory? Lots of our patients here come in voluntarily. What do you mean? Well, rather than their family members or friends bring you in, these patients turn themselves in for treatment. Is it true that most of the patients here are rich kids with powerful parents? And their parents send them here because they don't want to get embarrassed? What? No. Why would you think that? Are you a reporter? <laughs> no. Um, I have high cell clients who tell me that. Well, your high school clients are wrong. Can't help it. They like to tell me the secrets. And you think it's fine to share their secrets with other people? Don't your patients share secrets with you? We really respect doctor-patient confidentiality here. Yes, and I respect stylist-client confidentiality. Well, I hope stylist meeting a patient is an enjoyable experience for you. All right, Dr. Tony. You think you're better than me. So as you can see, this is the recreational area. They're free to move around, play games. They're so young. Yeah. Teens to young adults. Are they farming babies here too? to that side. Why not? That's where the more violent patients are. Hmm. Home. All right. Come. Let's get you to work. Great. Can't wait. Sorry. Here we go once again for a marriage lining man all your worries gonna be alright Sound the judge and jury and we'll be up all night it will hurt the ones that love you and they will hurt you right back sing along sing along our love is a heart attack just ride along ride along there's a place where you belong shake your ass Better check for pose. You better check for pose. You better check for pose. Hey, you. What are you doing here? Um, uh, I'm supposed to be cutting Dr. Tony's patient's hair. Only authorized personnel in here. Do you know where is the uh, men's ward I'm supposed to be cutting their hair up? Down the hallway. Turn right. You'll see you on your left. Right. Thank you.
to kids when I'm cutting their hair. Let me see. Look at the front. That's right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go out for a while. I'll be back. Where are you going? I have something to deal with. And leave me here with them? Are you crazy? Not as half as crazy as they are. Got admitted today. I like what you're wearing. Thank you. You remind me of someone. She should be in a room. <sighs> okay, Elsa. Elsa, tell us where he is. Who? We found his things here yesterday, so we know you know. Just tell us where he is. Romeo, say. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Elsa, come on now. If you don't tell us, it's not going to be good for you. Fine. What happens next? That's on you. Make a talk. What brings you here? Cutting hair. Come on, cut the bullshit. What really brings you here? I just want to give back to society and, like I said, cutting hair. Anna, I'm going to ask you one last time. Look, you're only here because I've said you can be here. Now tell me the truth. Nothing? Fine. Then you've got to leave. Wait, what? I just started and there's so much more to do. No, you're finished. Look, you've already become such a nuisance to my staff. I would have called the police already if you didn't know David. <sighs> no choice. Yes, come to the office. 
Take Miss James Smith away. What have you done to Elsa? I had my eyes on you for a while. I'm going to carve you nice and proper. Such a disappointment. I expected more of you. You are a clumsy girl, Maria. Before you finish me, tell me why'd you kill them? I think the question you should be asking is, why didn't I kill you? Why? You already know the answer. Look closer at yourself. Time to die. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'll take my little sister for a little walk. <sighs> Let's finish this, my dear. I'll die after I have a good look at you. He was damn wrong for not killing me ten years ago. That was his biggest mistake. You gotta talk to me. What? 
No! Get up! No! Anger doesn't make things easier. Tears don't bring back what's gone. That's why a smile is a perfect revenge. You wanted me to find Elsa there. And then you trapped the water so that we'll get rid of him thinking he's Alexander. Exactly. And it will freeze on to him. What a fabulous game it was, don't you think? And you were such a good sport about it. I love these games. Me too. I knew about the warden's habits. Turns out he fancied dressing up and raping the girls. He was a piece of shit anyways. Made it easy for me. Wakey, wakey, little princess. Time for sleep is over. Time for play. <laughs> Hello, big brother. <laughs> I see you did an upgrade on your nose. <laughs> you need to work on the vocal cords, though. Oh, my little sister. Always funny troublemaker. Why don't I entertain you a little bit? Do you know who's in there? <laughs> Maria. Maria? <laughs> Let me go! Let me kill her! I'll kill you now! Meanwhile, I have a gift for you. Look. You can do whatever you want with him. Take it. <laughs> Shit. 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 <laughs> Shit. <laughs> now go fetch him, puppy. Go. Bastard! Ah. I still need him. The hunt is on. Go. You gotta talk to me. No! Get up! No! Goodbye, Alexander. Here we go once again.